Welcome back to the channel. Today's video is all about starting a new project with GitHub. For this video, you'll need a few different software packages installed. You'll need the latest version of Hugo, Visual Studio Code, Git CLI, and GitHub Desktop. If you need any help installing any of those, see the link above for my Hugo installation video. It covers all of those software packages. In this video, we're looking at how to initialize a project with Git using the command line, how to add the repository to a GitHub account, ignoring files which shouldn't be committed, making a commit via Visual Studio Code or GitHub Desktop. Before we start, a quick message from this video sponsor. As a Skillshare teacher, I've partnered up with them to offer you a free one month trial using my links below. I personally produce full length Hugo courses on Skillshare and there are many other great teachers on Skillshare ready to help you level up your skills for your next big project. Click on the links below to explore my courses and get a one month free trial. You can cancel at any time. You'll also be supporting this channel. So I've opened up a blank project in Visual Studio Code. Let's go ahead and open the terminal and before we initialize the project with Git, we'll add some content because it's a little bit tricky trying to add content if you've already got something in the folder. So what we'll do is we'll run Hugo new site and we'll use dot slash as the current directory. And then what we'll do is we'll initialize our project with Git and the command for that is git space init. Now before we go ahead and set up our project with GitHub, we'll create our gitignore file. So particular files that we don't want to be uploaded to GitHub, don't. So click in the root of the directory just below the config.toml and then create a new file and we'll call it .gitignore. There's a few things we need to ignore and the first one is the node modules folder. And that's if you're installing dependencies using npm. The next one will be slash public. And that's when you build your Hugo site to the public folder. We don't want to commit that to Git because it's constantly changing. You end up with all kinds of merge issues because of conflicting files. The next one is resources. And they're basically usually image files or CSS files, JavaScript files, which are generated by Hugo and they're placed in the resources folder so they can be used. But you don't want to commit them as they're easily generated by running the Hugo command. And they'll end up filling up your Git repository. And the last one is dot hugo underscore build dot lock. It's not a big deal, but you may as well ignore it because it's not necessary for the function of your Hugo site. It's just a lock file that's generated when you're running Hugo. So we'll save that. Then we'll go and add the project to GitHub desktop. So we'll go to file and add local repository and then choose it. And you'll notice inside the folder we've got our .git folder there. And that's where all of the git history and the configuration is kept. You'll notice the files here that we've just created. In a second I'll go through why all of them don't appear. We'll have to make our first commit and we'll do this one via GitHub desktop. So you put your message in here. So created new site and then we'll Control enter to commit. We can then go and publish it. So it's going to ask you for the name. Make sure it's really descriptive. And then, so you can search for it. And then you've got to choose whether you want it private or public. And you have to choose your organization. Organizations are really useful for splitting your work into different categories. For example, forks, testing, or production code. We'll then publish the repository. Let's go ahead and add some more code and we'll do a commit via Visual Studio Code. So we'll go back into the terminal and we'll use the Hugo new command and we'll create an index.md underscore index.md for the home page. And then we'll create a, another page, Hugo new. We'll do about slash index.md. And they'll be created based on the template here for archetypes. So if you go into content, you'll see we've got our index.md. We'll call that home and then we've got our about page and the title's been auto filled for us. Now, there's two ways we can do this commit. The easiest way is in Visual Studio Code. You put your message up here and then control enter and then we'll hit sync to push to the remote repository. Let's have a look at how it looks on GitHub. So we go to repository and then view on GitHub. You notice there's a few folders missing. So let's go back into Visual Studio Code and have a look at that. So we have to do, if we've got a folder and it's empty, it won't actually be uploaded to GitHub or any other Git provider. It'll only actually upload the files 
folders aren't uploaded, it's the address of the file, the path that gets uploaded. So what we'll do, this, the standard convention is you make a file called .gitkeep. You can put any file you like in there, but by making the file called .gitkeep, it makes it very clear as to what that file is for. Now, usually you'd have something in your layouts folder. I'll show you how to populate that in a second. Public is going to be ignored, so we'll we'll leave that as it is, and then static will put a git keep in there, and also themes. Now, quick shortcut for you: if you're trying to make a new Hugo site and you're not using themes, you can make a new Hugo theme. And we'll call it temp. So we'll use Hugo new theme temp, and then we'll find that in our themes folder. What we can do is we can go into that layouts folder, and we can copy everything. We'll drag it into the our own layouts folder and that'll make our life a lot easier. And then I'll go and delete that temp folder. This is a quick shortcut for you to make your life a bit easier. I'll then put the git keep in themes as well. This time I'll do the commit via GitHub desktop. I'll put my message in, create new layouts, and I hit push origin to sync it. So that's it for this video. If you've got any questions or comments, please leave them below. Otherwise, if you like my videos, please remember to subscribe and hit the bell notifications as I release new videos every week. Bye for now.